My name is Lenny Vartanian. I'm a health psychologist from the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. And I'm interested in the psychological aspects of eating and weight. I've been interested in external cues that influence food intake for a while now. External cues are things like the food environment, packaging, advertising, and so on. It can also include social influences. We know these things have a very powerful impact on people's food intake and there's been a suggestion that we can try and use these as tools to help people eat healthier. One of the strategies that's been promoted quite widely is the use of menu labeling in restaurants or even front of pack information on food packages giving people nutrition information. The problem is that these approaches don't work terribly well. The research out there doesn't support the effectiveness of these kinds of approaches. One of the problems might be that it's leaving the individual, the consumer, to make the choice to decide to eat healthier. And sometimes consumers don't know how to use the information, so it makes it very tricky. And so what I've been thinking about recently is the role that individual self-control plays in enhancing the effectiveness of these environmental manipulations. Are there things that we can do to help people be more equipped to use that information? One of the approaches that we've been trying uh, as a means of enhancing the effectiveness of these environmental manipulations is to focus on strategies that change the norms, change people's perceptions of what's appropriate to do, because that could potentially bypass some of these issues with self-control. So for example, one strategy that we've used is what we call a segmentation effect. If you take a cookie or a sandwich or some unit of food and you present that as a whole, or you take that same amount of food, but divide it up into smaller portions. Three small cookies, cut the sandwich in half. It turns out that people eat less when you segment the food into smaller subunits, and it seems that they do this because they see it as appropriate to eat less. So somehow segmenting the food into smaller subunits has changed the norm of what's appropriate. If we can do that kind of stuff, then we can actually bypass the need to worry about self-control because there's this kind of norm that's being created that will help people eat healthier. When it comes to some of these other environmental approaches like menu labeling and so on, then we probably need to do something that will help people enhance their ability to use that information, teaching them what the information means, how they use it when they're in those situations and so on. So there are lots of different ways we can play with the environment and also help people develop their self-control strategies as a means of improving their health and well-being.